but I have good common sense. Thus, <laughs> I must bring a reproach against you which applies equally to both sides. Atomy, <coughs> <coughs> Thermopylae, and a score of other places too numerous to mention. You celebrate before the same altars, ceremonies common to all Hellenes. Yet you go cutting each other's throats and sacking Hellenic cities, when all the while barbarian yonder is threatening you. That is my first point. Thank God this erection is killing me! <laughs> Spartan, I address myself to you first. Have you forgotten how Periclidus, your own countryman, sat as a client before our altars? And after a service such as that, you rap with the sword of your own then practice. <laughs> they do wrong, Lady Strata, very wrong. With a very wrong, Lady Strata. <laughs> oh my love. <laughs> what a lovely bottle of peace has. Now, a fever, a word to you. Have you no memory of in the days when you wore the tunic of the slave? The Spartans came, spear in hand, and slew a host of partisans of Hippias the Tyrant. They and only they fought on your side at a eventful day. They delivered you from despotism, and thanks to them, our nation could change the short tunic of the slave for the long cloak of the free man. Mm. I've never seen a woman of more gracious dignity. Oh. I've never seen a woman with a finer body. Bound by such ties of mutual kindness, how can you bear to be a war? Stop! Save a hateful strife to be reconciled. What hinders you? Oh, we are just asking back our rampart. What rampart, my dear oh, man? Fine. In sea God's name, you should never have it. Oh, agree, my friends, agree. But what city are we to raise trouble in? Well, ask for another place to exchange. Ah, oh, that's a ticket. Then Pigos Echinus, the man of God, are joining. And the two legs of a guard. Of course not! <laughs> oh, come to terms. Friends, come to terms. Never make a difficulty of two legs, more or less. Okay. I'm ready to strip down and get to work right now. That is exactly what you shall do once peace is signed. So if you really want to make it, go and console your allies. Well, what allies should we know of? Why are we all erected? <laughs> There's no one that's gone mad to be meeting. <laughs> All we want is to be in bed with our wives. Why should that allow us to take them to fail our project? Oh, oh. <laughs> now, go and purify yourselves for entering the Acropolis, where the women invite you, <laughs> invite you to supper. We will open our provision baskets for you to do your honour. At table, you will exchange oaths and pledges, then each man will go home oh. with his wife. <laughs> Well, come on, mate, quick as may be. Leave on, and you run. Come, come, say on. <laughs> Still, no wild beast is there, no flame or fire, more fierce and untamable than woman. Oh, the leopard is a savage and shameless. And yet you dare to make war upon me, wretch, when you might have me be almost faithful friend and ally. No. <laughs> Kiss. Uh -huh. Kiss. Certainly not. 
Just one, whether you like it or not. Oh, oh, oh. Those confounded women. How oh, they do cajole us. <laughs>